In this video, I'll go through debugging tips when you're writing custom functions. Often, you'll get mysterious errors that will be difficult to understand. For example, if I do this, and then I do save and execute, you're going to get some weird error. Line 11. What's wrong with line 11? There's nothing wrong with line 11. The error is, of course, this one. <clears throat> but then you'll also get errors in other places. If you get something like this, what I find works best is to just comment out most of the code and figure out where the error actually is. And then you'll be able to actually run it. Once you can run the code, the other thing is that the code might not do what you want. In that situation, I find info statements very valuable. Info statements allow you to get a debug message. If I put one up the top, for example, I can get the account ID like that, and then if I save and execute it, You'll see it's got the log message there, which can be very helpful for debugging when you're doing save and execute. When you move on to actually executing your custom functions via a workflow, you're not going to get access to these info statements. The only way I found to be able to debug in that case is to use a send mail task. You can drag that in and you can just do zoho.admin user ID, send it to yourself, and you can put some data inside the message which will help you to figure out what's going on. I find those three techniques, commenting out code to figure out what part is actually breaking it, adding in info statements, and using send mail tasks invaluable when I'm debugging custom functions.